Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Dust and Aliens. Now if I remember correctly, this is a first person shooter where we're out in the desert fighting aliens. I don't really know much about this game, this was another free to play game that I found on Steam and I was really curious about it, so I figured let's go ahead and play it. Now if you find that you enjoy this content, this channel, and just my goofy nonsense, any and all engagements you guys leave in these videos helps me out tremendously. Likes, dislikes, bell icon, and if you feel so inclined, subscribing would help me out tremendously and I really do appreciate the help. Now if you want to come hang out with me, link description below for our Discord. Where we do little community events, we hang out, and we just generally chat, so feel free to come hang out with us. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, we're getting some cutscene here. Okay. So, you think you got what it takes to become the next champion, huh? Let's see what you got. That was the most useless cutscene I think I've ever seen. Great. And now? I don't see any rules that say you. How about you got some ammo? Go back to the start. What? Let's get this <laughs> What? What was that reload? You can punch, but let's see how you handle a gun. Wait, did the... Okay, no. I was gonna say, can I continue? Nice. We're all done here. You're good to go. You can keep training here if you want. Alright, yeah, that reload caught me off guard. Uh, I wasn't expecting to have to put a clip into the... I'm sorry, a magazine into the gun, followed by it actually reloading each cylinder. That threw me off for a second. Why do you look like... Oh my god. The texture load. Looks like someone smeared Play-Doh on their faces. Alright, so where do I go from here? Open Forge. Oh boy! For the low, low price of 40000 I can get myself a rifle. You give me missions? Welcome You're a shop. Okay. Come back in one piece if you can. All right, so this is for health and armor. Uh, that doesn't help me. This tutorial. A gardener. That's fantastic. Uh. What do I do? So, you think you got what it takes to become the next champion, huh? Let's see what you got. Okay, so we found darts. Yeah, no. Before all this, I used to be a gardener. Not much to do on this planet, though, so I adapted. Okay. Good luck out there. You give me missions? How does one go about getting a mission? Oh. This is probably how. Oh, here we go. I'm dumb. Nothing explicitly tells you go in big alien head. I didn't even see the head. He's here to shoot bugs and kick ass. And we're all out of ass. Hell yeah. Remember, lads. The only good bug is a dead bug. What are these animations? Look, they're not even walking, they're just- Okay, see, now they're walking, but for the most part, they just slide. Did I break them already? 
Audio breaks, fantastic. Hold on, where else can I go? Because I want to bug out the aliens as bad as possible. I want to see just how bad I can break this game. I think I broke the game. Last round, folks. Holy jolly jeez. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta get back up. Give me back my corner spot, damn it. Alright. So, I mean, so long as you're not a goof like me and go ahead and, you know, break it, you can break the game. It's not impossible. And I mean, none of these enemy types are that hard to kill so far. Looks like that's all for now, folks. See you in the next round. So, the match doesn't automatically end, you just gotta go back to some- Oh, hi! Adrenaline rush or file- Uh... Fire bullets. Hell yeah, getting pissed drunk! Oh. What just happened? I guess so drunk I blacked out. And welcome back to our favorite rootin' tootin' alien shootin' cowboy. Alright, so I don't know how I did this, but I managed to set one of them on fire. Okay. Who's next? Okay, so. They can snipe you. They can shoot at you. I was really hoping that I could just break the game. And let's see what the Endless is all about. But I was hoping I could just sit in one spot, break the game, and just cheese it. That's not possible. Or maybe not. I don't know. What? Why did it send me back here? Uh, Open workshop? What? Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna tab out for like a solid second. I don't know if this is gonna mess with audio or anything. This game has workshop. Let's see, does it? It actually does have a couple of workshop mods. It does actually have some mod support. I'm not surprised. I'm sorry. I am surprised. That's what I meant to say. I am surprised to see that it has support. Here comes a new challenge. Oh, can I cheese it? Okay, you're rude. I'm trying to find ways of breaking you. Like, the reload animation is honestly growing on me. I, I wasn't expecting that at first. Like, the animation caught me off guard. But now, um, now that I'm actually paying attention to it, it's honestly kind of cool. I kind of like it. So I'm assuming what's going to happen with this game is it's going to be a bit of a grind. You're going to need to kill as many of these aliens as possible. And then you're going to get better weapons. And then before you know it, you're just god-tier mopping up the aliens. That's the impression I'm getting now. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I'm like, you know, did the game just break on me? It's time for the final wave, players. Now... For a free-to-play game that is all about shooting aliens, I mean, as a simple shooter, damn it. As a game that's meant to be just a simple shooter, it's cute. It's fine. It does what it's meant to do. Um, there's not a whole lot to it, but at the same time, can you be mad at a game that doesn't, you know, that doesn't really require much in the first place, you know? 
Like, it's a free-to-play game. Can you really expect much from it? Alright, so this is 40,000 out of 35. So, a little bit more and I can grab that rifle. That reload animation was actually kind of cool. I'm not going to lie, the developers... That was... He's here to shoot bugs. The gun's shoot. animation and we're all out. is, uh, it's creative. It's honestly creative. I'm, I'm just trying to think of the right words. Um, it's a cute game. I think my biggest problem with this is, I feel like it's underdeveloped. You have endless and you have normal and that's it. I definitely think this idea is cool. I like the concept of this. I definitely think if they did a Call of Duty Zombies-esque game... But with their, their aliens and their cowboys, I think this would be fun. Like a kind of World War Z, Left 4 Dead kind of shooter in a way. Like something in that regard. It might be a fun time. If they could somehow also balance single player and multiplayer, oh, like a game that can be fun on its own merit without missing. friends, but then also add on more fun with friends. That would be awesome. And honestly, I again, I see this as a game with a lot of potential. I like their animations. I like their characters. Um, and now, initially, I was like, okay, why are these bugs just sliding? And I think that was honestly just a bug uh, irony um, that we're fighting bugs and we're dealing with bugs. Um, but, nevertheless, it's cute. I like this. I, I'm, I'm liking this. As it, I can't speak. I'm sorry. As for a free-to-play game, let's see, so Lifesteal, yeah, let's do that. I do also like the mechanic of this roguelike. Complete a level, get an upgrade, move on, get stronger, so forth, so forth, and just kind of balances more between skill and Welcome abilities. To our favorite rootin', tootin', alien so, cowboy. It's, it's cute. Again, you know, like, in terms of the whole roguelike where you're getting upgrades and then progressing. That's not a new idea, but the way it's implemented, I would say, is interesting. Now, I don't know if there's going to be more enemy types as we progress through, I have no idea. I would imagine there will be, but I have no idea. And we're like I said, we're gonna have to see. But, this is cute. I don't know if I would say this is going to be worth more than one playthrough for the channel. I really can't see myself doing more than one video of this because it's like, what more is there? We have a few bugs to kill. There's a shotgun, a rifle, and a revolver. Damn it! Right over there, buddy. Like, where's the value after that? You know what I mean? Let's see if I go to the forge. Can I just buy it? Do you really want to purchase a weapon? Yes. And then guns. The shotgun's 100,000. Oh, good lord. Upgrades, rifle. Can I really set it to automatic? That's 60,000. That's 35,000 for heavy explosive bullets. Okay, so somewhat styles. All right, so now let's give this rifle a try. No, oh, this is automatic. Okay, so it's an assault rifle then. And welcome back to our favorite route and two. There's no aiming down sights, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So it takes about roughly maybe 15 rounds to kill a single bug. Yeah, roughly between maybe 12 and 15 rounds. So, on one drum of 100 rounds, get six, maybe seven kills. About, rough estimate. Seems a little inconsistent. It's time for the final but, wave. I don't know. I mean, it seems 
The bugs do a decent amount of damage, though. Like, actually paying attention to them actually hurting me. They output more than you gain back. Uh, it gives you a chance of healing a bit after each kill. I'm gonna go for the lifesteal. I would be careful if I were you. Just saying. Hell yeah, we get so freaking drunk the day passes by. We're so I drunk we end up in a whole new town. See a good fight? Okay, so did this offer any real change in combat? I definitely think the rifle is a little bit of a game changer. Like, once you get the rifle, it maybe helps a bit. That's saying if you can keep it distance. If you can keep the bugs at bay and not take damage, yeah. Yeah, it can be a game changer. Um, Last round, folks. Do I find it reliable, though? It's kind of hit or miss. I mean, part of it is that my fault. I'm not going to deny. Part of it is my fault. I do have to move around. Um, the only issue is... I gotta avoid these... Whatchamacallsits. These blades. Um, I would appreciate if health items stuck around for a while longer. Or if there were item pickups throughout the map. That would be appreciated. Come on in. How was the fight? Um, let's see. Gives you temporary boost speed after a kill. Increasing amount of ammo you can carry. I'm gonna say ammo. Order. I'm not sure if it reloads your ammo each round. Bro, we are like the super lightweight cowboy of the town. Like, just sniffing alcohol gets us pissed All right, drunk. Folks, ready to see a good fight. Oh, okay, so we are spent on ammo. So the ammo upgrade was kind of pointless for me, considering the fact that I'm now spent on ammunition. Now, if one of these bugs could give us ammo, that would be awesome. Now, what if I do when I run out of ammo completely? See, it's the ranged ones that look like praying mantises that are the biggest problem. The ones that chase after you aren't that big of a deal. It's the ranged ones that are a problem. Now, is it just me or the bugs popping in and out? Shit. There we go. Okay. Did I make enough money to get the shotgun now? I mean, I probably should put money... Yeah, I did. Buy the shotgun. Cool. Let me go ahead and give myself some ammo. Why does the shotgun have so little ammo, though? Alright, let's give the shotty a try, see what it can do. He's here to shoot bugs and kick a <laughs> and we're all out of ass. Okay. So, how does it do with these guys? So, shotgun is disgustingly overpowered. However, however, the kick is low ammo capacity. So, high, high damage, low ammo. On top of that, I think the shotgun causes like a ricochet. 
So that was a good fight. Go grab the rounds can kind of bounce off of each other. The only other issue too is let's see there. There's no ammo in here. So what? Yeah. So once you're spent on ammo, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna say adrenaline rush. Hey, welcome back to our favorite route. Not sure where you go to get ammo. Shooting cowboy. But yeah, I honestly think this game has potential. You know, it'd be really cool. Honestly, the more I'm playing this, the more I'm thinking of Doom. I think if they did this more in a Doom style, not necessarily in the idea of like fighting demons and whatnot, but like keep it to their alien cowboy theme. I think that's really cool. We don't really see a lot of alien cowboy themes in gaming, so that's not a genre that's a bad thing. You know what I mean? Like. Like, for example, zombies is something that's well overdone. Everybody and their grandmother has done zombies at this point. Um, so that's overdone. Cowboy aliens isn't really something that you often hear about. Hope it wasn't too difficult and I think to do it fall. in a Doom-esque gameplay, that could be unique. I think the developers here have something. I think they have something very unique. I think they have something that they could definitely expand on. Just the question is, will they, and what can they do? Yeah, it looks like that's the last of them. Oh, alright, so level's over. That was a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Come on in. How was the fight? Sure, 20,000. I'm just gonna grab that. Enjoy. So wait, does all the alcohol we have here just have an alien worm in it? Also, we're cowboy robots. He's Would we not already have some kind of counter to and we're all aliens? Right. We're not humans. We're not spongy. So I feel like the arachnids wouldn't be able to do too much to us. And I'm so used to calling them arachnids because of Starship Troopers. This is cowboy Starship Troopers to me. So I'm willing to bet that... The reason why ammo output is just so low right now is because of upgrade issues, and that as I upgrade the guns, their uh, ammo and damage is only going to increase. That's my assumption. But I mean, other than any critiques or points that I've made so far, this is a cute game. It's cute for what it is. As a free-to-play game, it's cute, it's a good time killer. It's fun. Um, this is something that I could see myself maybe coming back to to kill time. Like, if I'm in class and there's nothing going on and I'm bored or I'm waiting for my buddies to get on and do something. This is a time killer. That's all this is. Um, part of me thinks maybe in VR would make it a little bit more fun. Um, maybe add something else to it to really expand that replayability. The mod support good. I definitely think that's good. Um, I, don't know, I think the developers have something here that they really, really could expand on. Like, I see potential with this. It's time for the final wave, lads. Um, one thing I will say, in my opinion, they need... Oh, there you go. There's a new enemy type. Oh, actually, no. That's just a bigger version of the enemy that we've already been dealing with. So, realistically, in my opinion, we're only dealing with two enemies. So, an expansion of enemy units would be nice. Again, personal opinion. Um... But other than that... And again, for free-to-play... You oh, is that it? Come get your free drinks at the saloon. Uh, where is the saloon? There it is. So, with just the typical rifles. Well, you look better. Looking for a 
Uh, let's see. Is it going to continue the fight, or am I going back home? Yeah, no, it's continuing the fight. He's here to shoot bugs and kick ass. And we're all out of ass. Damn it, okay. There was a first time for everything. Well, I mean, this ain't my first time dying, so I don't know why it'd be the first time for everything. Uh, let's see. Where are oh, upgrades? If I go upgrades, what does it do? Longer range, damage, uh, burst. Alright, a straight beam, high fire rate. 50,000, sure. Not sure what that's gonna do for me. Uh, Gatling. Let me save my ammo. I mean, my money. That can't speak. Uh, weapons, revolver damage. Oh, they're like super cheap. I just maxed out my rifle. Just like that. All right, let's see what I do with the rifle. Because apparently, I just maxed out its damage. So I'm not sure if I've now just made this shoot bugs and kick that much more reliable. Also, what is those? Okay, so instead of 15 rounds, it takes me about 10. So... Not sure what these other buttons do. Oh, okay. Like, I'm just seeing these two things on the bottom of my uh, cursor, and I'm not really sure what those do. Yeah, there's really not much to it. It's just... It seems like there's really... Okay, so a total of four enemy types. You have the blue prey mantises, the little green prey mantises, the giant red prey mantis, and then you have the blue-looking spidery dudes. That's really what it is. I and mean, that's really it to this game. Um, sure, let's go with lifesteal. I don't know how effective this is honestly going to be. We'll see. And welcome back to our favorite More maps would be nice, in my opinion. Boy. Maybe a variation of the maps too, like maybe, or you know, if they even if they can't do more maps, mix it up, right? Like instead of the same maps on rotation over and over again, mix up the rotation. So maybe start it off in the afternoon, then day, the night, and then day, night, morning. You know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? Like mix it up a little bit more so it's a little bit more of a variety rather than. Getting used to the same rinse repeat. Now, I don't know if this game has multiplayer. I know endless mode, though, it seems it requires. Uh, what's the word? Mods. Which is a little weird to me. So when I, I'm gonna try it again before we wrap up this video. I'm gonna try it again, but it seems to me like I need to download stuff from the Steam Workshop in order to play endless mode. Which not necessarily against. I just find that abnormal. You made it. Come get your free drinks at the saloon. Let's do adrenaline. Honestly, these upgrades feel kind of useless to me personally. All right, folks, ready to see a good fight? You can try to play a little bit more aggressively. So it also seems like with the shotgun, you can take out more than one guy at a time if you're lucky enough. So the shotgun is a reliable weapon. I don't really know how I feel about the rifle. Um, it lasted longer than last time. So you know what? Maybe I'm wrong about the rifle. Maybe it is a good weapon. Uh, the shotgun's definitely good. So definitely think doing the upgrades that I did 
are helping, but god, does the ammo burn through quickly. Okay, so once it charges up, but it does have a cooldown, so that's the only problem. Not terrible. Hold on to your drinks. This is about to get you. Okay, I was about to say, what happens if I run out of ammo and now... Crap. It's the last bug. I'm going to be really... There we go. Congrats. You made it. Come get your drinks at the saloon. It's on the house. Uh, okay. Free celebratory drinks. As soon as I figure out where the hell the saloon is. There it is. Oh, right, but why is it giving me... Armor. armor? When the hell did we have armor? And also, why is it giving me upgrades that I can't use because now the map is over? Oh, wait, no, I'm dumb. We're still continuing. To shoot bugs and kick Never mind, I'm stupid. I don't know why I was questioning that. I'm a judgmental asshole. I'm not going to deny that. Crap. Okay, so, I mean, so far I'm doing pretty good. Is this a new map? You know what? There are more maps. There are more than three maps. I just haven't gotten far enough to see them. I'm I'm willing to admit that. But I am firmly of the belief they need to offer more abilities for ammo resupply. Like that. Exactly. Oh, wait. Oh. Hmm. So punching them gives you more ammo. Huh. Okay. Crap. Okay. Getting stuck on like literally everything around me. You know it's the one thing I really have noticed that I must commend the developers for. Something that a lot of smaller indie developers it's make a mistake of. For like, Final games way. like this, I often see this problem. Damn it. There's an issue I see the developers make that these guys didn't. Those ranged bugs? If this was any other game, those ranged bugs would have been shooting me through walls. This isn't happening here. So... Nothing but respect to the developers for that. Well, let's see. Uh, speed, armor. I heard people say we're gonna run out of aliens someday. Have fun. Okay, cool. So wait, did I upgrade? Because I can't see. Alright, so it doesn't seem like you can max out ammo capacity. The most you could do is your health, armor, All right, and then folks, just your general weapons damage. Which I have maxed out. So I mean... In about a half hour to an hour, you could probably get all of your upgrades. About that time. So, I'm definitely going to stand by my original statement. I think the developers have a lot of potential. I think what this game needs is just more. I think it needs more thought. Um, more enemies. More mechanics. But this is a game that I see a lot of potential in. I really do see a lot of potential, and I can only wish the developers the best. They need to make sure the bugs don't get stuck on geometry, though. That's definitely a thing they need to focus on. Uh, but anyway, all joking aside, thank you everyone so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As always, if you find that you enjoy my content, uh, my channel, or just my goofy nonsense. Any and all engagements you guys leave on these videos helps me out tremendously with the algorithm, likes, dislikes, bell icon, and subscribing would help me out tremendously, and I really do appreciate the help. If you want to come hang out with me, link in the description below for my Discord, where we do little community events, we'll hang out, we'll chat, and we'll game, and if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to come ask. I'm always happy to help.
I'll see you guys around the next one. Thank you so much. Love you all. Have a fantastic night. I will see you guys on the next one.